All right, folks, uh, A&E has a new television series that deals with uh, the issue of two, who killed Tupac Shakur. It, it, it's, it's, it's amazing how the, the killing of uh, this uh, one artist, uh, been 21 years, just still just drives so many people to understand what took place uh, when it came to uh, his death. And so there's a six-part series that is airing on A&E, uh, and uh, Ben Crump, the attorney, is very much involved in that. Uh, we're going to have him on the phone just shortly uh, and so to let me know when we have him. And what was amazing about, again, is, what do you think is the fascination with the, this nation and the life of Tupac Shakur? Well, I might be the only one on this panel who's old enough to remember Tupac. <laughs> hey, well, well, besides you, of course. I'm talking about in terms of your panelists. Yes. Yeah, talking about, go, go, go. Oh. I'm talking about in terms of comparing myself. Go ahead, to go ahead, Michael. Um, Tupac was brilliant. Uh, he was a, and I believe in many ways, a revolutionary. Um, he, he is a the son of a Black Panther um, Party member, uh, and, and he was just pro, a prolific writer. Clearly, he was killed too soon. Um, obviously, towards the end of his life, unfortunately, I believe that he got entangled uh, with people who influenced him in a very negative direction. But his brilliance is, and his content is everlasting. I mean, there are entire college courses that are based Harvard, on his catalog of work. Hold exactly. tight one second. I want to show a clip from uh, this series, and then we're going to go to Ben Crump. Here, check this out. Now is the time to get justice for Tupac Shakur. We are going to look at every theory developed over the last 20 years. East Coast, West Coast beat between Bad Boy and Death Row. Uh, do you recall when this whole East Coast, West Coast feud between the labels started? Joining us right now is attorney Ben Crump. So Ben, why did you want to get involved in this series? Uh, a couple of reasons. Uh, Roland, as you know, Tupac was talking about issues concerning the African-American community, even when it wasn't a popular thing to do in hip-hop. He was talking about Black Lives Matter issues, police brutality, uh, justice, due process. And it's so ironic that even though he was one of the most famous, most well-respected, most successful hip-hop artists, actors, entertainers when he was killed on september 7 1996 in las vegas nevada he was treated and got the same justice that many other young black men in america received where they never got a trial they never got due process of the law and so in trying to give tupac the due process the investigation he should have gotten 20 years ago we're trying to shine a light to say that these are still relevant issues in America today. Uh, and when it comes to those uh, relevant issues, uh, do you actually get to the point where you're satisfied with the answers you discovered? Roland, I, I pray your audience tunes in because at the end of each episode, you're shaking your head. And at the end, we are able to reveal and uncover documents here from people and come to a conclusion that blows your mind. Really, it gives Tupac the investigation he never got 20 years ago, and you would have loved for this to be vetted in court where it could be cross-examined and the testimony and the evidence could be vetted and his family and people who love Tupac to get justice, to get some sense of closure. Uh, well, I will say this. Uh, I think if, if, you know, when you look at his death and that of uh, Notorious B.I.G., you can't tell me that if you had uh, two major white entertainers that somehow uh, those uh, uh, murders would still be uh, unresolved 20-plus uh, years later. Exactly. If this would have been Elvis Presley or Frank Sinatra, the Las Vegas Police Department, regardless of people saying, I didn't want to participate, I don't want to testify, they would have made sure somebody was at least arrested and brought to court to face the evidence. Roland, this is arguably the most public drive-by shooting in the history of America. It was a Mike Tyson fight. All right, then. What time does it air on a &E? It airs at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 9 Central. Hashtag who killed Tupac. Uh, please comment. Send your questions on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. And our cast, we were 
give insight on social media and rolling. Hopefully, we can get into more details next week about East Coast, West Coast, and about whether Suge Knight had a role to play in the murder of Tupac Shakur. All right, Ben Crump, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't going to cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.